Walking the historic grounds of the University of Virginia, the casual visitor suddenly encounters an awe-inspiring, yet instantly recognizable figure. George Washington, atop a pedestal, embowered by boxwoods. You can sit with him a moment, feel a temporary sense of friendship, while students and tourists pass casually by. But who was George Washington? Behind the legend, is it possible for us to meet the man himself? George Washington is perhaps the most iconic American ever to grace the pages of history books. And he is as ubiquitous as, well, the one dollar bill. He's someone we all know. Here at Alderman Library, students go about their busy routines. Unaware that only one floor up, scholars are hard at work making George's better acquaintance and seeking to introduce him to the rest of us. Welcome to the Washington Papers. Here in these offices, historians of early America read, edit, and prepare Washington's correspondences for publication. The complete correspondence will include letters and documents written by and to George Washington. Work began in 1968, is about two-thirds finished, and the whole edition will eventually fill nearly 100 volumes. One of the first things that struck me when I started working with these letters was the extent to which you can hear the voice come through. Take Israel Putnam, Washington's oldest general, definitely a country fellow. Dear General, last night I received a letter. Later, L-E-A-T-O-R, last, L-A-R-S-T. But General, gotta love that. This is a letter from Caleb Gibbs. Uh, Major Caleb Gibbs, the commander of Washington's lifeguard, who was responsible in addition to commanding a lifeguard, he was responsible for getting supplies for Washington's aides and staff officers. And this is the important part. We are out of beer. You will please send on a large quantity as soon as possible. One of the foundational tasks is to establish authoritative text. A photocopy of a letter sent to Washington. It's in the handwriting of uh, his aide-de-camp, Tench Tillman and it's signed by Washington. We uh, fortunately can still clearly see his signature, but unfortunately a uh, third of the page has been burned off and you can see the charred remains here. The draft, also written by Tench Tillman, is quite complete. What we do is render what we can see from the letter sent to Clinton, and then we fill in between angle brackets portions from the draft. So the um, users of our volumes will be able to see a clean, readable version of his letter. But, uh, what I uh, often find most interesting is not the official stuff, but, but the uh, private correspondence. And in particular, I think uh, one of the things that's really interesting is his correspondence with his farm manager, William Peirce. These uh, give you more of an insight into the private character of the mm -hmm. man in many ways. And the two letters that I have here our letter of the 17th, they involve his reaction to the death, sudden death of his miller at Mount, of the miller at Mount mm -hmm. Vernon, Joseph Davenport. Mr. Davenport had received all his wages and something more. His wife and children would be in a most distressed condition. What will be done with them? He sits down the very next day and, and acknowledges it and, and writes his response to this death of the miller. And he says, I'm very sorry for the death of Mr. Davenport on many sorts, not the least of which is poor family, <laughs> who must, I am sure, be left in great distress. For this reason, I request you, request you to show all the kindness you can and afford them any aid and comfort in your power. Once published, each volume is distributed to libraries where it becomes available for all to reference. The Papers is also conducting several fascinating digital projects. The Bibliography Project is an effort to find all of the books that have ever been written about George Washington, uh, research them, and enter them into a massive database. George Washington's Rules of Conduct. These include such tidbits of wisdom as do not pull your stockings up while in the street. This is The Life of George Washington by Justice John Marshall. Washington Irving's Life of Washington. We work on the financial papers project of George Washington and basically we are transcribing and researching and just making 
these documents searchable and accessible to the public online. Eventually we want to go through and add what's called a pointer tag to all the people, places, terms, types of currency so that when somebody goes in they can say I want to find any document who is associated with Richard Stevenson or that mentions um, Virginia currency. The Washington Papers is even getting university students involved. The George Washington Day by Day Project trains undergraduates in documentary research, project management, web design, and collaboration. We're analyzing those letters and we're breaking down the letters by day um, to track the, the things George Washington did in his daily life. So their team captains will collect all their work for the month and then they'll email it to our team captain, Alice, and she'll assign us um, like parts of what they've done to post to the website. And one of the things we're trying to figure out now is a way to um, easily search the dates for each of the posts. Everybody knows that George Washington is an important guy, but nobody really realizes what an interesting guy George is. He's, he's funny, he's engaging, he's kind, he's energetic, he's just the type of guy you'd like to sit down and have a beer with. <laughs> and one of the things that our project does is not only spread knowledge about Washington and all of the things that he did as president, and all of the things he did as a general, but we also try to help people understand him as a human being, understand his role in his family, understand him as a stepfather, as a step-grandfather, as a friend. We're not just producing these documents for other scholars to read. We're producing them for students. We're producing them for teachers. We're producing them for anybody who would be interested in learning more about their country, about where they came from, and what it is to be an American, to be a citizen of the United States. Every day at the Washington Papers, we're getting to know George, his life, and his times better by studying his correspondence, and so can you. To learn more, visit our website and join the conversation by following us on Twitter. Oh wait, here's a tweet right now.